we're going to continue our journey with the Commodore Macro Assembler Developer System by enhancing our Hello World program to clear the screen and write some text to the empty screen. In addition to the functionality already has, which is setting some colors. To get started, we need to run the boot all program to bring our wedge, our editor, and our high loader back into memory. We're going to use the get command to retrieve our source code. We're going to add our text to display at the end of our program by using a byte directive and a label. HW text is short for hello world text. The byte directive is going to tell the assembler that we're just going to store raw bytes in memory at this location. And we're going to type in 147, which is the ASCII code for clear screen, the phrase hello world, and 13, which is the enter key. We will continue with more text. How are you? Uh, the enter key and the zero. The zero is going to signal to the code we're about to write that that is the end of the text that we want to print to the screen. We're going to write the code that prints the text of the screen starting at line 1070. Okay, this is the entirety of our program. The first part still sets the colors, then starting at 1070 uh, through 1140, we are using the X register to iterate through the memory that's at HW text or hello world text. Um, and we're setting it to the kernel routine at FFD2, which is what basic uses to print a character to the screen. So it takes care of putting the cursor in the right spot and moving it forward and, and handling all the special characters. And then when we run into a zero, which is what we're checking, the BEQ um, command on line 1100, it'll jump to the end where our program ends. So let us now save this and assemble it. Kill unloads the editor so the assembler doesn't crash. I'm going to load and run the assembler. I'm going to put our object file in that we want to create. Two blanks and then the source file. We can see that the object file exists so we need to delete it first. The assembler is still in memory, so we can just rerun it by typing run. And once again, we will fill out the parameters. Assembled correctly, let's use the loader to load it uh, into memory. This time it loaded from C00 to Z038, so it's a bit longer. Uh, we'll just run it. And as you can see, it worked correctly. Clear the screen, 
wrote hello world how are you let's load the monitor and save this now This time it's too much to fit on one screen, but we do see at the top our code, and then it kind of turns into garbage around CO1E after RTS. That is most likely the text that is our program. So we can look at the text that by using the inspect command. We can inspect from CO1E to, I don't know, CO38. And in that text, we can see our clear screen command, hello world. We can see uh, the carriage return. How are you? The carriage return in the zero. So we know that it's correct. So let's uh, save this. Oh, first we need to delete it. So let's exit out of the assembler and let's delete the file that's there. pop back into the, uh, um, I'm sorry, into the monitor. Remember to add once that end address or bad things happen. So let's restart our computer and see if our code saved correctly. Um, in our next video, we're going to get even more adventurous and we're going to split the code that we have into library files to help make managing larger programs uh, even easier. See you then.